it's been a really busy holiday season here on my channel. And last month I had a chance to check out one of my favorite two-in-one convertibles released here in late 2019. It's the HP Spectre X360 13T with the OLED display, 10th generation Ice Lake processor, loved it. And I couldn't wait to get a different variant into the studio. So when HP hit me up to check out their all new one watt low power display, full HD display that gets phenomenal battery life, I quickly jumped on it. And I have to say, because of the battery life and great price, this may be the one to get. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP Spectre X360 13T, the full HD model, coming up. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN, one of the best ways to protect your privacy when you're surfing the internet. As you know, the internet is a very unsafe place, and that's where you need a great VPN to help protect your privacy. And that's where NordVPN comes in. What they do is protect your privacy by sending your online data through their VPN servers, which encrypts all the information, locking it down, protecting it from prying eyes. By changing your IP address, you're now more protected as no one is able to figure out where your data is coming from and who it's coming from. They have more than 5,500 super fast servers in 60 countries. It not only unlocks Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites, it also protects your data while traveling in public places such as airports and coffee shops. It even works in China. And rest assured, you're in good hands with NordVPN as they were selected as the best VPN in the Best VPN Awards for 2019. That's impressive. And I have some great news. I've teamed up with NordVPN to give my audience a very special discount of 81%. If you head on over to nordvpn.com forward slash AMD Tech, use the code AMD Tech, and you'll get four extra months when you sign up for the three year plan. And in addition to that, you're going to get the NordPass Password Manager app absolutely free. That's a value of $194.61. That's a fantastic deal. So head on over to nordvpn.com com forward slash amd tech to get those savings and i want to thank nordvpn for sponsoring today's video and in the interest of transparency and full disclosure i'm not being paid by hp i'm not being sponsored by hp all the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release the review unit is on loan from hp and once this review is done i am sending it back to hp now pricing starts at $10.99 and for what you're getting and the quality that you're getting, to me, that's a steal. Okay, I have some great news. I just checked HP's website. Right now you can pick up the HP Spectre X360 with the Intel 10th generation Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD storage for the low price of $9.99. And that to me is a steal because you're getting one of the best, if not the best, two-in-one convertibles on the market. And at that price, again, an absolute steal. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. The review unit HP sent over comes in at $12.99. That's a Core i7 with the 1 watt low powered Full HD display. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, I love the fact they include a faux leather sleeve. It really looks nice, and they do include a place for you to store the pen. I love that. Now, lifting the lid, you're greeted by some setup instructions and the unit itself. We'll get to that in just a moment. You also get some warranty, safety information, and all the other documentation. Now, you do get a 65-watt USB-C power adapter, and they included a pen that matches the color of the natural silver. That's the unit they sent over this time around. Now, I looked at the Poseidon Blue last year. I just took a look at the Nightfall Black with the OLED model, and I'm glad that I have the natural silver. And I have to say, it shows much less fingerprints. It's a very sleek and premium looking device. Now, I went over the ports in the OLED version video, but for those that didn't see it, on the left side in the corner is your power button, and you get your 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a USB A 3.1. Moving over to the right side is a micro SD card slot, a kill switch for the webcam, and two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and they do support four lanes, so if you want to connect to things such as multiple 4K monitors, external GPUs, you have that option. 
Okay, now let's talk about the display. The review unit I have here has a one watt low powered full HD display. That means it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And one of the benefits, of course, of having a low power display is battery life. And I have to say, it's been excellent. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. But getting back to the display itself, you got some really vibrant colors, some really deep blacks, excellent contrast, everything you'd want in an excellent full HD panel. And it also covers the color gamut really well. 99% sRGB, 78% Adobe RGB. So if you're a creative professional that does Lightroom, Photoshop, and video editing, this is definitely a good choice. And it's also a bright display coming in at 348 nits, which is definitely good for both indoor and outdoor use. But of course, the real benefit of having a low power display is some really great battery life. In fact, I got 12 hours and 5 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. And that outlasted the OLED model by 5 hours. That's pretty great. But if you do need to plug in, you do get a very compact 65 watt USB-C power adapter, which will give you 50% in 30 minutes, less than 2 hours for a full charge. Needless to say, battery life and charging times are excellent on this compact 2-in-1 convertible. Now, if battery life is not your main focus, check out the OLED 4K model that I did review last month. And I have to say, it's simply stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really good brightness, excellent contrast, really deep blacks, and very vibrant colors, which of course are the hallmarks of an OLED display. And they still manage the solid seven hours on my continuous web surfing test. So again, you're not sacrificing too much battery life. Although if you want that excellent battery life, stick to the one watt full HD display. And here they are side by side. Of course, the sharper, higher resolution is going to be the OLED, better battery life with the full HD model. And they managed to slim the bezels over last year's model. You're now looking at a 90% screen to body ratio, which is definitely pleasing to the eye. So this is the front facing camera on the HP Spectre X360, late 2019. And as you can see, this is a 720p 30 frames per second camera. Uh, not great, uh, not the worst I've ever seen, certainly not the best, but it's definitely good for Skype, definitely adequate for video conferencing. Now the camera itself is a Windows Hello camera, meaning, meaning it's an infrared camera. So you can log in with face recognition, it worked really well. And it's pretty slim top bezel as well, so I'm happy with that. But I'm curious to know what you think, let me know in the comment section below. And I love the fact that this does have a kill switch that allows you to turn off the webcam, giving you more privacy and more security. And there's also the ability to turn off the microphones, adding another layer of security. And there's a fingerprint scanner located below the cursor keys that allows you to log in with Windows Hello. It registered my finger every time I used it. It worked really well. The Spectre X360 gives you a lot of versatility. You could put it into the tent mode. You could also put it into the stand mode. Both are great for watching and consuming media. Now, as far as the tablet mode, great for surfing on the sofa as well as use with the pen. And as I mentioned in the last video, the pen uses the Entrig pen technology, the same as the Surface Pen, great for taking notes and sketching out artwork. And as I mentioned in the last video, I absolutely love this keyboard. I think the tactile feedback is great as well as the key travel, which is not common on a thin and light laptop. So I'm glad to see that. It also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And you get a precision touchpad. And what that means is a really responsive touchpad, which gives you buttery smooth scrolling, as well as all the Windows 10 gestures working as advertised. I'm impressed with this touchpad. Now, as far as user upgradeability, you can upgrade the SSD, just remove that plate and you're able to swap it out. Now, as far as the RAM, it's soldered into the motherboard as well as the Wi-Fi card. So those are not able to be swapped out. So when you're ordering this laptop, make sure you get enough RAM for your needs. I covered the performance in my OLED version video, so check it out. The link will be in the description below, but suffice it to say, the 10th generation Intel Core i7 did very well. It was also aided by the fact that this has the Intel Iris Plus graphics, which definitely gives you a better boost in terms of graphics performance over last year's model. And as I mentioned in that video, this is not a gaming laptop, although you can play some Windows Store games. And you could also play some of the older titles. If you lower the settings, you will get some playable frame rates. 
Now, one interesting change from last year's model is they did away with the quad speakers and decided to go with dual speakers only, and they did away with that speaker grill on the top above the keyboard, presumably because this has smaller bezels and they wanted to stretch the keyboard out. And the sound is actually pretty good despite not having quad speakers at this time around. They sounded really good, pretty loud, and they had a hint of bass to them, so really not bad in that regard. So to wrap it all up, I think you have some really great choices when it comes to the HP Spectre X360 late 2019. If you want that really beautiful, really eye-popping display, go with that OLED model. If you want great battery life and with a good display in its own right, check out the one watt low powered full HD display. Either way, you can't go wrong. Now, I originally gave the OLED model a 91% score. I'm actually gonna bump it up for the full HD model to 94% and there's two reasons for that. Number one, you get better battery life thanks to that one watt display and I like its price compared to the OLED model. I think it gives you more price to performance value. Value. Either way, this is definitely an editor's choice. And coming soon, I'm going to put it head to head with the HP Elite Dragonfly. You don't want to miss it. So what do you think about this bad boy, the HP Spectre X360? I love the OLED model with that Nightfall Black. Love the natural silver, love this full HD panel, the low powered one watt full HD panel that gets really great battery life. And if you're a road warrior, if you're the business person or the average consumer that does a lot of traveling and wants a laptop that's going to last all day, it got over 12 hours of battery life on my continuous web surfing test. And I got to say, it's pretty fantastic. Now, as far as that one watt display itself is concerned, it's a full HD display, 1920 by 1080. And I have to say, looks really good. Good colors, good color accuracy, covers the color gamut really well, and it also gets bright. So you're really not sacrificing too much by going with that low power display. And if you want good performance, of course, get it with the Core i7. Core i5 will do certainly great on this, but the Core i7 will give you a little bit more performance and you won't sacrifice too much battery life with this low power display. Now you can pick it up for $9.99 over at hp.com. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. With a starting price of $9.99, to me that is a steal considering you're getting probably one of the best two-in-one convertibles on the market right now. Now, an FYI, I just took delivery of the Lenovo Yoga C940, a 14-inch 2-in-1 convertible that competes directly with this HP Spectre X360. Expect the video in the next few days. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Four. <laughs> All right. Four, three, two, one. Hey, every blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and this is. Damn it. Four, <laughs> four, three, <laughs> four, three, <laughs> four, three, two, one. What the hell is that? Four, three, two, one. What do you. So, what do you think about the HP Spectre X360? So what do you think about the HP Spectre X... Ooh, boy, I'm tired.